It's Thursday the 6th of April and I've had a bit of a slow start to today. Um, last night while we were having supper, we were having, I don't know, just cheese and biscuits and we were sitting on the sofa and uh, catching up with each other's news and just having a bit of a chat and something I ate and I suspect it was uh, some cheese caused a severe and very sudden uh, allergic reaction and my mouth all swelled up and my face swelled up, well, my face went numb and my throat started to swell up and we got some antihistamine to me very quickly but it left me quite shaky and really not feeling terribly good so I was asleep very rapidly and slept quite a lot during the night and it's also left me feeling a bit sluggish today but hey ho, it's, uh, I'm fine, I was fine within about 20 minutes of it happening as soon as the antihistamines got into my system I was the swelling started to go down and I started to feel okay again but it does mean that today I'm feeling a little bit I don't know a little bit sore uh, that's not quite the right word just a little bit fuggy today um, but I expect that's about having had a huge dose of antihistamines last night this afternoon we have uh, the 16 three week old chicks arriving which should be very exciting I'm really looking forward to that and I've got a bit of preparation I need to do before they arrive and the other thing I'm doing this morning is to just start off with some uh, some fruit that we picked last year and put in the freezer and start that off to make that into drink. And I've decided to do a combination of uh, little Mirabelle plums, which are very small yellow plums, and red grapes. And I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to make um, a, a non-alcoholic syrup that, you know, like a cordial that we can dilute with water and drink. And I'm also going to make a little bit of wine for Mr. J. First thing I've done is uh, to pop all the frozen fruit into a into a pan here. I've got them on the lowest heat setting that I I can do. I'm going to pop a lid on there, and then I'm just going to leave them to defrost and to start to uh, just to warm through a bit, which will help to start extract the juices. As part of the preparation for the 16 chickens, uh, the little chicks arriving. I've been mucking out some houses and I started with the duck house so that's all nice and clear and it's being aired at the moment and I'll refill that with uh, bedding for them before bedtime and the next thing is to clean up the little chicks houses uh, of the, the chicks that we have at the moment and then decide whether I'm going to put them together or into a separate house um, to make room for the new arrivals. Well here's a familiar sight, a wheelbarrow full of bedding. And I'm just heading off to the duck house to put some fresh bedding in after cleaning it out this morning and then leaving it open to air for a while. And now they're going to have some lovely fresh bedding. I think the chickens have been to Houdini Masterclass today because they keep getting out. And they haven't done this since we've had them. Uh, get the old one who pops it every now and then. But today i've had seven different chickens all jumping out of their pens and into the next one all just racing around the garden so i don't know what's got into them maybe it's just spring uh, or maybe they've just decided they're all going to play escape a well now i'm super excited because we've just taken delivery of our 16 little three week old chicks and they're really pretty and in here we've got uh, one light sussex and uh, I think there's five buff Sussex chicks and uh, three or four cream leg bars and one barn velder and some, because I've now lost count, three or four uh, well summers. And they're looking really strong and really healthy and um, we're just about to go and get them into their nursery house. Now I've transported the little chicks into one of the nursery houses now I wouldn't usually put three weeks old, three week olds out here, but they've been uh, off heat during the day with just a bit of heat at night for the last few days and it's actually due to be very warm for the next, certainly the next week. So they should be absolutely fine out here um, and they haven't seen outside before. They've been in a cage so it's going to be interesting for them when they when they finally get to the grass. So today has been yet another good one. I've got the 
duck house cleaned out and both the nursery houses cleaned out. We've had the new chicks arrive and I've started making some cordial and wine. I wanted to do two quick shout outs today to uh, people I know who have started watching my YouTube channel. So hello Millie and thank you for subscribing and hello to everybody at the old folks home.